So in this video, we're going to be making clouds, and then I'm going to show you a way to render them super quick. So the way we're going to do it is select all with A and press a delete to delete that default cube. So I can press shift A to add in a new mesh. Um, we can use spheres or whatever, but I'm actually going to use metaballs and I'm going to use the capsule. And for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make like a rough shape of a cloud. And we're just going to kind of join them all together. Doesn't really matter. Um, how you want to do the cloud, for instance. So we can have a kind of bigger upper area up in here, something like that. Um, if we wanted to, we can add in, you know, like a cube as well, throw that one in. And so what are these clouds code I called? I don't know. <laughs> so we got our metal balls. We select it, control A, and we're gonna go visual geometry to mesh. And so now we've kind of got our geometry. Awesome. Shift A, we're gonna go into volume and we're gonna add in an empty. Then make sure our volume is selected over in the top right hand corner into modifiers, add modifier. We're going to generate mesh to volume. Now what we can do is hide our meta ball. Also, we're going to hide it from rendering from now with the volume selected object meta ball. And there we go. We kind of now got a volume of that mesh. Now the details aren't there yet, but that's fine. We're going to change the voxel amount to probably 128. If you want to go a little bit further, we can go 256. However, a little bit more resources on the computer. Ah, just leave it to 56. From here, add modifier. Let's go deform volume dis volume displays. <laughs> volume displays. Um, and then we're gonna click new to create an image. Over here on the very far right hand side, we're gonna click on that show textures tab. Open that up. We're gonna go image or movie. I'm gonna add in clouds. So we've got our clouds now. And then we can bump up the settings. Oh, one is normally a good number for me. Depth will increase that. The one is kind of like increasing the size of the noise. And I think depth is kind of like how many variants of the grayscale is in there. I'm gonna leave the type as soft, not go down into hard. I mean, we could, but I think that'll be for something else, which I have ideas. So we'll go back to soft. From here, we'll go back into modifiers and now we don't really see what we're working with. So I'm gonna jump over into cycles, EV, cycles, GPU. Let's go 32 for the viewport and 128 because we can. Into render settings, awesome, we're good. Let's go into our world settings. I'm gonna click on the yellow dot and I wanna add in HDRI. Let's go into environment texture. Now it's all pink because there's no texture. We're gonna click open. And I'm just going to go into my downloads. I should have a 4K, there we go, Autumn Field. You can download these from wherever. Go to like HDRI Haven. I'll put a link somewhere. Um, but these are a whole bunch of free HDRIs. So we've got this. This is pretty cool so far. Now we've got to do a little bit of work back into the modifiers. The density, I'm actually going to turn down to maybe 0.5, so it's not as thick. The strength, let's bump it up to about 20. I did it again. If you're going for that wispy look, we can go that far. Don't do that. And so this is where you can kind of play with your strength, find a number that you like. Five seems like a very nice number. Mm, I reckon we can probably bring it back together a little bit. Let's go three. Yeah, she'll be right. Obviously, this is how we created the mesh. It is very tall. Obviously, we could probably go a little bit more flatter out or out. <laughs> But let's just kind of go with this for now. I do like what I have now. We could go denser if we want, um, but let's just kind of like leave it. And pretty much at this point, we do have a cloud. However, I did talk about rendering this stuff faster. Even though I've got a HDRI in, I am going to add in a sun. Coming over into the sun settings, I'm actually gonna bump this up by 10. And now it's really, really white. I mean, we could even go 20 if we really wanted to. Now that hasn't improved the render times, I mean, can you imagine now if we add a, like 10, 20 of these? No bingo, no bueno. However, and I'm gonna press numpad one to go into front view. Move the mouse a little bit because I want to have um, not orthographic, but still perspective. Control, alt, numpad zero will focus the camera on what I am looking at. We're gonna convert this to a square image because we can. So 2048 by 2048. Let's select our camera. Let's just zoom in a smidgen, focal length. How do we want to do it? Yeah, let's just do focal length. Obviously, we can move the camera forward, G, Z, Z. And we can move it in and out. But I think we might just go focal length for now. From here into the render settings, film. I'm going to increase that. And we're going to go transparent. I want the background to be transparent. So now if I press F12, you can see now that we're getting a render of just the cloud. Perfect. Now, real simple cloud. 
image, save as, cloud v2.01, all right? Now that's just one cloud. If I want to create a second cloud, we can go back into the metaballs. And from here we can, you know, select it all. I can scale it down on the Z axis. I can go rotate 90 degrees. Let's hide that metaball now. And now we've got a separate cloud. Now I haven't changed the camera angle because if I change the camera angle, the lighting on the cloud is going to change. And that's going to be important. We'll just save this one as number two. And I'm going to turn off transparency, bring that the world back. Let's hide our volume just so we don't see it. Now what I'm going to do is shift A, let's go image and we're going to go mesh plane. Let's find our two clouds that we just created. There we go. And now we've got two clouds that have an alpha texture. Awesome. Let's say I want the camera to be kind of like this angle. Now we can just kind of move these back and we can start. They're going to be rotated ever so slightly. This does limit us a little bit in the direction of the cloud um, because obviously scale x sorry scale xx scale xx minus one I mean, it does still work but then yeah we can put that in like so and if we wanted to just to give a little bit of um difference in opinion <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say there but you can kind of see how now we've got a cube amongst the clouds and then we can just kind of like play around with this a little bit one thing i do not recommend though is move the camera so rotate the camera is fine but moving the camera will give you a rubbish result like this so don't do that also like and subscribe give me give me a hand also this is what that you know spaceship flying scene looks like and if we open it up yeah there we go easy